I think we've all seen the little thought bubble over the villagers heads and typically that means that they're wanting to move out. However, most of the time it's on the wrong villager or if it's on the correct villager that you want to move out, then it's some random present or something. Hey guys, it's Phil back with another Animal Crossing New Horizons episode. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to move the little thought bubble from one villager to the next and we're getting started right now. If you're a big Animal Crossing fan and want to stay up to date on all the news, tips, tricks, and all other Animal Crossing related content, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot of great content that you'd like to watch. And besides that, it's free. So one of the first things that I want to say right out of the gate is that this technique can be used by time travelers and non-time travelers alike. What I'm hoping to do here in this video is show you how the game's mechanics work and once you kind of understand how the, the uh, mechanics work, then you can apply these same techniques to your gameplay and, and, and apply it to how you like to play the game. But obviously if you, if you are a non-time traveler, then these steps are just going to take you know, a lot longer amount of time. And then if you are time traveling, then you can follow this guide right along and uh, get the villagers to, to move out right away with the thought bubble. All right, so one of the first things that you're gonna wanna do is you're, you're gonna make sure that it's uh, between 12 uh, p.m. and 3 p.m. during the day. And right now it is 2.08 p.m. Uh, and the reason that you want to do that is because it, it allows uh, all of the characters to come out of their houses and come into the plaza area. Uh, and, and another thing too is make sure it's not raining on the days that you want to try to kick a villager out because the little thought bubbles that we're going to be searching for actually don't show up on the characters if they are inside of a house or if they are uh, inside of a shop or something like that. So we want to get all of our characters out into the plaza area and they all um, they all want to be out of their houses, out of the shops. And then as we're getting started, we, we just want to take a quick run around the island to see if there's anybody that has already, uh, that already has a thought bubble on them. We just want to double check, make sure that, uh, that we don't already have that present. And then we're going to hop into the actual process uh, of kicking the villager out. Alright, so now that we've uh, time traveled one month into the future, we want to take a quick run around. So right away, I'm not seeing anybody that is showing the thought bubble. So what we're going to do next is we're going to time travel one day in the... Yeah, not seeing anybody, so I'm going to save and exit. Alright guys, so as you can see, we've time traveled uh, basically one month ahead, and we, we looked around, we couldn't find anybody, so we time traveled one extra day ahead, and as you can see, Kyle uh, has the thought bubble over top of his head. So here's where this part, here's where this, uh, this technique kind of gets um, a little tedious. So what we're going to do next, since I don't want Kyle to move out, I actually like Kyle, I like all the wolf characters as a matter of fact. Um, but since I don't want Kyle to move out, the next step that we're going to do is not say anything to him. We're going to completely ignore him. We're not going to try to speak to him uh, and, and risk us uh, basically moving him out or uh, essentially taking the thought bubble and canceling it out. Because if you talk to them and you go through the conversation and the game saves and remembers that, then the thought bubble uh, will be delayed for an extreme amount of time. I think it's maybe 15 days or so before it'll show up again. So uh, just keep that in mind. We're going to not say anything to this guy and we're going to time travel a one day forward and we're going to uh, see which of the other characters has this thought bubble uh, on them. But now that we have the thought bubble in the game, it should, it should jump over to other various characters as we continue to uh, time travel to the to the next days. Now, something to keep in mind: this is a little bit of a random uh, thing. The game has a, a, I guess, a random generator, as you'd call it, uh, in the game. So it could be a little bit random. Kyle could have it again tomorrow, uh, or it could alternate between you know two different uh, characters for some time. So just keep that in mind as we go through this. It can be a little bit tedious to get this thought bubble to essentially transition over to another character, but that's kind of what we're doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and save the game, and I'm going to time travel one day forward. All right, so as you can see, uh, we started on May 22nd. It is now one month forward. June 22nd was where we uh, skipped to uh, after that. 
we've we've time traveled one day forward. Kyle was the one that was uh, having the thought bubble over his head, so I didn't want him to move. So I time traveled one extra day forward, and now I'm going to take a look around to see uh, if this thought bubble has moved to another character. Now, just something to remember: this this it can be a little bit of a uh, it, it can seem a little random because the game has the different mechanics in there to make this seem random. So there's some random number generators and things in the code of the game that can make this a little bit tedious and a little bit unpredictable. But for the most part, um, we have done everything that we need to do to make sure that we can maximize our opportunity, I guess, to... Uh, to kick these villagers out, to basically get that thought bubble to move over to another person. And there you have it. So now this character is uh, essentially wanting to move out. So we've moved from Kyle over here, and now we're going to uh, basically say, you know what, I don't want this character to move out. Uh, I want a different character to move out. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to ignore this character. We're not going to, to talk to this character. We don't want to even see if um, if the character wants to offer something special uh, because the thought bubble, whether they're going to move out or whether they're going to just give us a little present or something, the thought bubble is still a thing and you need to not cause the thought bubble to go away by talking to them. Now technically speaking, you can, you can talk to the villager and you know find out what they want. Uh, and then once you find out what they want, and, you, and you'll know right away, as soon as you start the conversation with them, they'll either say something like, you know, I, I think it's time for me to move on, or they'll say something like, hey, I found this awesome shirt, and I want to give you a shirt. So you would kill the game at that point, load your game again, and then you'd have to save again. So for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to talk to any of these villagers. I'm just going to completely ignore them. And we're going to time travel one day forward and see um, see who's got the thought bubble next. All right, guys. So uh, here's a really great example. I'm glad this actually happened. So as you can see, I've uh, loaded the game. I time traveled one day forward, and the the game is uh, it's it's raining currently. So I actually don't want that to occur. I don't want to try to um, uh, try this process while it's raining because again, like I said in the beginning of the video. If the person is inside their house or inside shops, the thought bubble will not show up if they're in their house or in a shop. Well guys, that's awesome. I time traveled one day forward and it's still raining for this day, so I'm going to go ahead and kill the game and jump ahead one more time. Alright, so finally, uh, we have a day that's not raining again, so sorry about that guys. Um, as you can see, I've time traveled so far in the future that Flick is now having a bug event where we can catch all the bugs, uh, kind of like CJ's fishing event, where we can catch all the bugs and... Uh, and win a special prize if we if we can meet his requirements. So, spoiler alert. But anyway, let's run around the island and see if anybody has a thought bubble. Now, I have heard a rumor that special events will actually affect this as well. So, if I don't see anybody with a thought bubble, and I don't think that I do, then we're going to go ahead and jump ahead one more day. That's just something to keep in mind. Saturdays um, tend to not... I've seen where Saturdays are, are very uh, terrible for thought bubbles to show up for whatever reason. KK Slider maybe makes everybody happy. I don't. I don't know. And then uh, if there's a special event like this, like Flix event or CJ's event, it seems to defer the thought bubble for another couple of days or another day or so. All right. Sorry guys, I had to jump ahead a couple of days because every time that I would jump forward, it was raining again. Um, so, you know, I mean, that's just the luck of it when I'm trying to uh, record stuff like that happens. But, uh, what we've got here is, um, so, so let me just, let me just take a second to, to recap. So, we, we time traveled, we started on May 22nd, and we time traveled one month forward, and then we basically time traveled one day, uh, at a time after that. To, until we saw the thought bubble and then once we saw the thought bubble we continue to time travel one day forward each time just you know one day at a time to see if we could get the thought bubble to move to different characters and and honestly uh, at this point it has been pretty successful it's moved to three different characters and I've seen where some people were getting the same couple of characters over and over and over uh, but but in this situation it looks like that it has moved the thought bubble has moved 
to a third character. Now, so what does this tell us basically from a, um, you know, I know that I've got many different viewers that some like time travel, some don't like time travel. Some feel like time travel is, is kind of a, a, a form of cheating. Um, and I get it. I totally understand. I get both. Uh, I get both uh, sides of the story. So for the non-time travelers, here's what I want to make a suggestion to you guys. Now that you know how the game's mechanics are working, now that you know that the thought bubble will essentially move from one person to another, as long as you don't talk to the person, then you can you can basically move the thought bubble to the to the correct villager uh, to the villager that you want to kick out. So just keep that in mind. I mean, yeah, it's going to take you a <laughs> it's going to take you a really long time to do this because you're basically in game or in real life waiting, you know, quite a while to to move these thought bubbles around. And I'm actually going to do another video on how to specifically do this without time travel. Uh, and when I, when I do, I'll put the link in the description. Because I want to actually look at, instead of jumping you know, a full month ahead, what is the minimum amount of days we have to, to jump ahead or basically wait for the thought bubble to show up. I believe it's about 15 days, but I, I, I don't want to, uh, to get into that right now. And then, of course, once you do select the villager to move out, you have that conversation with them, then, uh, then, then you can start the process of getting them to move out. So if you're time traveling, you would want to time travel one day at a time until they're completely gone till you get your open house plot. And then if you're uh, non-time traveling, then you, of course you would wait a couple days for the open plot to, to open up before you can start to recruit um, another villager. And I've actually got another video that I'll put on the screen right now that you guys can go check out and uh, get a little bit more information about how that, that exact process works if you need help there. And guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I've got a lot of Animal Crossing content. Give this video a, a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Come over to my Discord server. I've got the, leak, uh, got the links down in the description of this video. You guys can come over there and it's a safe place to trade, safe place to have conversations about uh, various things of the game. And until next time, guys, stay safe. We'll see you later. Take a look at one of my other Animal Crossing how-to videos that are on the screen right now. And also don't forget to check out my channel and subscribe.